Hi guys, in uh, this video I would like to do a complete walkthrough of our subwoofer program. Uh, at DALI we have a subwoofer for every occasion, uh, from the most compact stereo system to a supplement to a sound bar, to a full-blown uh, home theater system or even a high-end stereo setup. But before we dive into the uh, subwoofer models, I want to touch upon our design principles when we design speakers, subwoofers or speakers in general. Our main goal when designing our speakers is balance. Our subwoofers are all designed to have a natural extension of the main speakers. We don't design subwoofers to impress on their own. We design them to blend seamlessly with the front speakers of your system. Timing and coherence and the ability to blend with the speakers and couple to the room is most important when we design subwoofers. Our main principles of low loss are used in all of our speaker designs, and that goes for any of the subwoofers we make, we make as well. At DALI we design fast speakers, and therefore we also design fast subwoofers. A slow subwoofer will not be able to interact seamlessly with a fast speaker. So our subwoofers are born fast, and also with a high bandwidth. This is something we believe must be right from the start, it's impossible to make a slow bass unit, for example, be fast by using DSP. It has to be fast from the beginning. So it's all about getting the correct uh, timing. We don't sacrifice timing for absolute deep bass, for example. The easiest way to do deep bass is to use, for example, a cabinet of a few hundred liters. Uh, we don't believe that anyone wants a cabinet of that size in their living room. And you can easily do deep bass by voicing it to do just that. But then again, that would make the subwoofer slower and would sacrifice the timing and the interaction with your main speakers. There has to be a balance between deep bass, timing and coherence. And one thing that's true for all of our subwoofer designs is that they're always quite compact. Even the K14 is a compact subwoofer in, in our eyes. We believe that a subwoofer needs to be somewhat compact and have great looks for people wanting them in their house. Uh, all of our subwoofers use relatively soft roll-off uh, filters to again get a better coherence with the main speakers. This makes it easier also for the user to dial in the subwoofer with the main speakers, which is also very important to get that natural extension. So in short, Daily subwoofers are extremely musical, they're dynamic and they're extremely fast with great detailing and transparency in the low frequencies. They're not just a simple boombox. A properly integrated subwoofer adds value to any system, both stereo system or surround sound system. To get that natural extension of the bass, you also get better reproduction of subharmonic content, uh, even on big speakers. Adding a subwoofer can actually help improve both sound staging and resolution in both the mid-range and trebles uh, as well on material that doesn't hold any apparent uh, bass content, say for example on a piano recording. All right, so let's dive into the range of DALI's subwoofers. We start out with the C8D. The C8D is a compact subwoofer which uses an 8-inch down-firing bass driver, hence the name C8D. D stands for down firing. You can see it right here. It has the base reflex port and the driver pointing downwards into the floor. It's designed to be used both for movies and music. Um, it's designed around the elements that we always design our speakers around, such as you know, low loss and timing coherence and, and wide dispersion as well. So having the, the C8D hovering 30 millimeters over the floor uh, it uses these polymer-based, kind of oversized spikes. That mo makes it both decoupled from the floor as well as providing enough space uh, below the, uh, the base driver to avoid any turbulence and distortion from the space between the cabinet and the floor. Having the base unit firing uh, down also heightens uh, efficiency and makes it easier to place the subwoofer in your room. As mentioned, it uses an 8-inch bass driver, which is based on a paper cone, a long excursion driver. It's uh, chosen for its very good breakup characteristics, and it's also very lightweight and rigid. 
The driver is based on an oversized magnet system and a four-layer la uh, voice coil. It's designed to handle both the finer low-frequency details of music and, and also at higher sound pressure levels to keep a level of control and precision actually rarely found in this uh, price range. Uh, to add to that, the, the amplifier we use is, is a very high quality amplifier actually taken from the, from the E-series, which I'm going to get back to. It can deliver 220 watts uh, peak. It's uh, highly linear and, uh, and, and it also has a built-in limiter to protect the bass unit when, when things get rough. So this is the, the C8D is a perfect partner for smaller models like our Spectre or Oberon series or as a supplement for, for example, the Catch One soundbar. Any place you would need a compact subwoofer for a smaller room or a little extra bottom end to your speaker system. All right, next up is our E9F and E12F subwoofers. These are easily our most popular uh, models. They're the best selling, the, the E12F is the best selling model we have. They're both des designed to be partnered with high quality compact speakers or, or, or as a home theater subwoofer. They both use an aluminum driver chosen for its very stiff and lightweight uh, material. This gives us a better transient response at, and very low distortion. It it's, makes, makes it able to start and stop very quickly. So this gives us a better integration with the front speakers as well. It's a, the E9F over here uses a 9-inch front-firing driver, that's where the F comes from, with a down-firing uh, base reflex port for better coupling to the room. The E12F, as the name implies, uses a 12-inch driver, front-firing. Of course, the bigger driver is able to move more air, it has a higher sound pressure level, it can do, and it allows us also for a lower bass response. They both use a closed aluminum cone, so we don't have the need for a dust cap in the middle. This gives us a better piston-like behavior and lowers distortion, and it makes it extremely rigid. Uh, the bass units we use in both subwoofers, the E9 and E12F, are developed from scratch by Dali's engineers, and the voice coil and magnet system and rubber surrounds are designed for linearity and long excursion, but also low loss. You know, reacting to small signals gives us a very high transparency uh, and great dynamics as well. We use the same amplifier in both models as the one we also use in the, in the C8D I told you about before. It's a 220 watt, watt uh, peak amplifier, um, Class D amp. The E-series are perfect partners for Spectre or Oberon or Opticon Mac 2 or Callisto and can be used in both stereo or surround sound applications. Now we also updated the finish on the E-series and the grills uh, so that it matches the design of both Oberon and Opticon Mac 2. Next up is the DALI K14F. Uh, the K14 is, is DALI's biggest, uses DALI's biggest base unit. Uh, put into our most compact cabinet for a base unit of that size. It's designed around the same principles as the E-series, but with more focus on, on uh, home theater or movie performance. It uses an extremely powerful uh, 500 watt amplifier. It has, has lots of control over the massive 14 inch aluminum clad base units. It's constructed, oh, sorry, it's constructed with an oversized ferrite magnet and a 30 millimeter four-layer voice coil. So everything in the K14 is designed for extra long excursion, but also extra force and control. Even the voice coil and the pole piece are vented inside to ensure air cooling to the system and to the coil itself, keeping temperature down, which, which creates uh, you know, a better and more stable bass response. Also, by venting, you can see that here, by venting the pole piece reduces internal compression in the motor system, which ensures free movement of the cone without any over or under pressure affecting the performance behind the driver. It uses a massive down-firing base port, which ensures a good coupling to the room. It uses a big amplifier and a very big driver. <laughs> uh, so. The K14 is great for home theaters where you want a powerful reproduction of the LFE channel 
or as a stereo subwoofer in bigger rooms with bigger speakers. This is something, I must admit. Yeah. <laughs> so completing the lineup, we have the M10D and the P10DSS. The M10D and P10DSS are Daly's very powerful and precise yet compact and uh, stylish subwoofers. They're designed to set the standards for low frequency performance in your stereo or home theater system. They're both based on the same design and are both tuned to be extremely agile and fast with a highly precise bass reproduction and great dynamics as well. In the heart of the M10 and the P10 DSS, uh, we use a 10 inch long stroke down firing woofer, which uses a rigid carbon fiber cone, a, you can't see it here, but a dual spider configuration. Um, it has a low loss suspension and a massive magnet system. The cone itself is a sandwich construction with carbon fibers at the front paired with paper pulp at the back. Paper pulp we know from our existing loudspeakers where we ex example use uh, paper and wood fiber cones in a mix. The geometry and material of the cone also eliminates the need for a dust cap like I told you about on the on the E-series. It results in a highly rigid cone with superior breakup characteristics and it's at the same time extremely lightweight and, and very agile and fast responsive. We use a four-layer voice coil that's mounted on an aluminum former. The voice coil is a 63 and a half millimeters in, in diameter, so it's quite big. This ensures maximum power handling. And also, in, in order to reduce um, micro resonances, the inside of the voice coil former has been lined with a thin paper pulp as well. For optimum control of the cone excursion, uh, the woofer features dual spiders sit situated 12 millimeters apart. In this way, the voice coil maintains 100% piston-like behavior, even at very high sound pressure levels. We go to great extent in the woofer to adhere to the low-loss principles that we always use. So the rubber surround, is a, it has actually 25 millimeters of excursion but it's completely linear over the entire excursion. We use oversized uh, lids wires, which are made from uh, solid silver clad copper. And the chassis is made from 10 slim alum aluminum legs, which is more than the, the typical amount you would need for a driver like this, but it ensures stability, it ensures a, a free airflow behind the driver, and also it doesn't have any magnetic loss uh, for the magnet system because aluminium doesn't have any magnetic conductivity or it's very low, in fact. So, so both the M10 and P10 uh, DSS offers a remarkably deep and controlled bass response for, for such a compact cabinet. And they're able to go very loud with very low distortion. Let me just show you the bottom driver here of the M10. You can see it here, pointing downwards into the floor and, and hovering over the floor as well. The amplifier is a Class D platform. Let me move this. Oh, sorry, not that. Yeah, the amplifier is a Class D platform. It delivers 300 watts of continuous power and 500 watts of, of peak power. It's designed specifically to be used with the own our own drivers and therefore we get the most out of both the amplifier and the drivers. The subwoofers are housed in a stiff and inert MDF enclosure lacquered with 10 layers of polyelephine lacquer, hand polished for a, a very elegant and deep high gloss. The bottom of the cabinet is made from 25 millimeters of uh, plywood instead of MDF to ensure a tight grip uh, and to ensure better delivery of the energy from the driver to the room with less cabinet resonances as well. Even the screws that we use for mounting the driver are designed by Dali to ensure the best possible grip and also to be self-centering 
so that the neck of the screw always grips the driver without deforming the mount or the rubber surround. This ensures a perfect uh, mechanical connection between the cabinet and the driver and minimizes mechanical loss. We also use these screws in many of our series, including the Epicon series, for example. The M10 uses a sealed cabinet with one 10 inch driver, whereas the P10 DSS uses the same 10 inch base driver with the addition of two 10 inch passive radiators. The P10 DSS is a high end subwoofer, which sounds fantastic for both movies and music, but it's meant to be used in a normal home environment. Therefore, compactness was one of the most important parameters when developing the P10 DSS. In order to achieve our targets for the P10 DSS, combining the highest sound pressure level uh, with the lowest possible distortion, neither a closed cabinet or a bass reflex cabinet would, would do the trick. Well, simply put, in a compact cabinet like, like the P10 DSS cabinet, uh, we could not fit a suiting bass reflex tube. It would simply be too large for the cabinet. So the solution here was to combine the 10 inch active driver with two passive slave units. That's why we called it the DSS. It, call, it stands for Downfiring Slave Slave. Uh, the two side mounted woofers share much of the technology uh, from the active driver. The cone geometry is identical and the cone material is also uh, carbon fiber. The upper part of the chassis is, uh, is quite the same. 10 legs and identi ident identical uh, suspension. However, there's only one spider. And of course, there's no voice coil or magnet system behind it. It's a passive driver. The purpose of the passive driver is to follow the movements of the active woofer as precise as possible. We have put hundreds of hours into R&D to develop a unit like this one that has the exact tonal balance and the original, uh, that the original active driver has. Embedded in the passive driver, we use a piece of zinc alloy. You can't see it uh, right here, it's, it's located beneath the spider here. Um, it's carefully designed to have the exact weight, form and distribution of weight to get, to get that exact excursion characteristics that we were looking for. The reason we use zinc is once again because of low loss. We don't want any mechanical loss and zinc is a non-magnetic material. It doesn't steal any of the energy from the magnet system in the active driver. Both the M10 and the P10 DSS features a remote control that allows you to adjust level or phase or crossover frequencies from your couch. And also you can mute and power on and off from, your, from, from the listening position. They also feature, both of them, a cinema or hi-fi mode controlled from the remote control as well. One, a listening mode that's optimized for watching movies or, uh, or series. Uh, the other is optimized for listening to music. It's of course, you know, up to your personal preference which one you like the most. Um, but the smart thing is here that you can sit in your listening chair and switch between them. So, very easy. So the M10 and the, and the P10 DSS are perfect partners for high-end systems, both in stereo or surround sound applications, and a perfect match for our Epicon Phantom S series or Rubicon series of speakers. They can also, of course, easily be matched with any high-end speaker from other brands as well.